front of us is a couple of coral trout that we want for dinner. We only need one of them. There's one about 50 centimetres long, so we're going to get eaten onto our first ever coral trout. So I'm just going to be pointing the camera, guiding her along the way. She's going to drop down and shoot it. So we'll show you guys now. This one clip, we'll get it rolling. We'll go find it. She'll get onto it. Perfect shot. Yep, I'm getting back to the boat. She got our first trout. <laughs> right, that's our dinner. Talk us through it, what do you say? What do you do? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, just go, tell us. Uh, I went down and he was in a hole and I could really see him so I just shot and I got him. You're not meant to say that, but yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I could see him real good. She feels a little bit ripped off that this is her first level one because it's not as big as the ones that she's always seen us shoot and go down for, but the reason why we wanted this one tonight, only a little 50 centimetre one, well and truly sized, but just so we could cook it up on the Weber for dinner tonight while we're out in the islands and we don't have any wastage. So she done well, she listened, she uh, went down. First shot on this one, no fish had to die for any other reason but for dinner on that one. So I'm going to jump back in now with my gun. It's getting late in the Arvo now, it's uh, half five, so I'm going to try to find a blue bone. I'm not really too fast on a trout unless it's a horse. Otherwise, there's a cray up there too that I got my eye on. I've got the GoPro on my head. Hopefully, it works. I can film it. I've got my dive torch. Can't. Everything good to go. Eden's um, already donned off all her dive gear, so I'm going to jump back in, see what we can find. I'll try to switch this over to you guys now. If not, I'll come back to the boat in a minute and show you what I got. Black spot cross fish there. We'll tuck him in the boat and I might have a look for a couple more because there was definitely some good ones there, even better than this. looking on this ledge and there's some really 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 good coral trout down there so because we're staying out over here overnight um, means we can take a day's bag with it today and same tomorrow. I've only shot one blue bone, even shot one small trout so I'm probably going to pick one big one off here while I've got the chance because tomorrow's not guaranteed depending on how the weather goes and um, yeah I'll pop that up in a second and see if I can show you a nice big trout.
Oops. What? That's not a trap. <laughs> Couldn't resist. I've been having a really bad run on blue bone lately. And this guy came and presented himself really nicely just then. So another blue bone for the inventory. And then, um, I'll still go down. Grab one of these trout, I think, quickly. So I'll call it a day. But it's a really good one around 700, I'll grab it. Easily my PB. This thing's fing huge. Oh, he's out deep under a ledge though. I just gotta get my breath back and hope he doesn't pull off the spear because he's a monster. Monster trout. <clears throat> he's humongous. I better not lose him. Woo! Big shot. Stop your gun. I still think I can't hope for that chance of chilling under the ledge. Okay, so I just shot easily my PB trout. My gun's floating in the water over there. I shot him because he was so big, I had to let him run because I was like, if he fights on this line, he's gonna rip out the spear with the ledge being there. I've just come up to do a breathe up. And then like a good two and a half meter sharks just come through, pretty solid. Had a very good look. I don't like sitting there feeling defenseless with that gun in my hand while there's a shark looking around and he's going to be hungry for that trout now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lift the anchor of the boat, try to get as close as I can to my gun over there, which I can see floating, and then drop down straight on it and grab that fish. Oh no. The trout's half out. So good, my PB trout's ripped up. down with my flashlight and then I spotted this guy. I went down, I went down on a single band, took a shot and I actually missed him the first time. He's very deep under a ledge. Obviously didn't hit him at all so he would have run just as I've taken the shot. I went back down on the next dive, there he was again. Got him on a nice clean shot through the face but he ran really hard. 
So rather than risk losing him, I swam back up to the top and thought I'd do a breather. But as I was doing the breather up to go back down for him and get him out from under the ledge, pretty big sharks come through. I think it was just a bronzy. Even we'll swing the camera and she'll show you what time of the day it is right now, pointing towards the sun. So I'm pretty much diving on shark hour and uh, really probably shouldn't have been in the water on my own, but I've got the boat close to me and I've got Eden here with me. So we've marked the spot. We're going to come back in the morning. I'm going to dive on this ledge. We'll show you that. I'm going to get my spear back one way or another. But anyway, I've shot my new PB trout. So pretty happy with that. I'll stand up, give you a full frame look and perspective. Okay, so Aiden's dropping the anchor. There's our little camp. How does it feel? Good. <laughs> Good to be alive. Oh, okay, so that's where we're wrapping up this video. It's a bit short-lived on this second day here, but last night after I shot that big trout, going through that whole ordeal of trying to get that out from the ledge and everything like that, um, Eden and I decided to just go straight back into camp, cook up the smaller one for dinner. We baked that one whole. We woke up this morning and the weather was a little bit trying. The wind was up, but my main aim of the game was to go back in out to the mark where I lost my spear. So we ended up leaving my spear on that ledge where the trout got a reef. I ended up cutting the spear free but I lost the leader, so no big deal on that one. I shot another good trout and then we've just been trawling around for the morning, got a couple of mackies, a few good fish, and um, yeah, we've had a good time doing it. So the main purpose of this video, although it's only short and there's not much to it, I just wanted to say that I'm all good. I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking where I'm at and what I've been up to. My life's going perfectly at the moment. I've just bought a house, so I'm really busy with that. And then I've also got a new boat on the way, so you'll see that in the next couple of months without doubt. And then I also just sort of wanted to introduce Eden into this video as well. So we're wrapping this one up. We're going to go back in now and then I'll see you guys next time.